Have you ever marveled at the sheer size and complexity of an aircraft carrier? These floating cities, home to thousands of sailors, are among the most powerful and technologically advanced vessels ever built. Today, we're diving into a journey across the waves and through time to discover the top 10 most advanced and largest aircraft carriers that have ever sailed the seas. From the pioneering design of the HMS Hermes to the unmanned carriers of the future, these seafaring leviathans are sure to astound you with their massive scale technological marvels and the impact they've had on the course of naval warfare. What if I told you that the first purpose-built aircraft carrier was commissioned almost a century ago? That's right, the HMS Hermes, a British ship, was the world's first ship to be designed and built as an aircraft carrier from the keel up. She was commissioned in 1924, a time when naval aviation was in its infancy. Equipped with a full-length flight deck, an island superstructure, a hangar and lifts, the Hermes established the basic format that aircraft carriers follow to this day. Despite her small size compared to modern giants, she played a crucial role in World War II before being sunk by Japanese aircraft in 1942. The HMS Hermes may not match up to today's standards, but she was undoubtedly a groundbreaker in her time. Fast forward to the 1960s and we enter the nuclear age with the USS Enterprise, CVN-65, the world's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. The Big E, as she was affectionately known, was not just remarkable for her propulsion system, but she was also the longest naval vessel ever built at the time. With eight nuclear reactors powering her, the Enterprise could reach speeds exceeding 33 knots, 38 miles per hour, 61 kilometers per age, and operate for years without refueling. This was a paradigm shift in naval operations, allowing the Enterprise to remain at sea for extended periods without the need for frequent refueling stops. She also had an impressive air wing, capable of carrying over 90 aircraft. Serving for more than 50 years, the Enterprise left a significant impact on naval history, setting the standard for future aircraft carriers with her innovative nuclear power and immense capabilities. But moving towards the east, let's discuss INS Vikramaditya, the pride of the Indian Navy. This ship was originally the Russian Admiral Gorshkov before being extensively refurbished and sold to India. Now what makes the Vikramaditya special? With a length of 930 feet, 283.5 meters, and a displacement of 45,000 tons, it's smaller than some of its American counterparts but still packs a punch. Its air wing consists of MiG-29K multi-role fighters and Kamovka-31 AEW and C helicopters, providing a formidable aerial defense. The Vikramaditya doesn't possess the catapult systems found on many Western carriers. Instead, it uses a stowbar, short takeoff but arrested recovery system. This makes operations different and interesting. It's a floating airfield that bolsters India's blue water capabilities. And speaking of Russia, it brings us to the Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia's only operational aircraft carrier, and one with a distinct character. This carrier, commissioned in 1990, has a unique design compared to Western carriers. The Kuznetsov is actually classified by Russia as a heavy aircraft carrying cruiser, reflecting its unusual mix of air power and ship-borne weapons. It has a displacement of about 55,000 tons and, like the Vikramaditya, uses a stowbar system for aircraft operations. But here's the kicker. The Kuznetsov also carries powerful anti-ship and anti-submarine missiles, a feature not seen on most dedicated aircraft carriers. This combination of air power and direct fire capability makes it a distinct vessel in the world of aircraft carriers. As they say, it's not just the size, but also the firepower that counts. But now let's turn our attention to the Charles de Gaulle, France's only aircraft carrier and the only non-American nuclear-powered carrier currently in service. So what sets this French naval marvel apart? With a displacement of 42,500 tonnes and a length of 858 feet, 261.5 metres, it is smaller than some of its contemporaries, but its nuclear power gives it the ability to stay at sea for prolonged periods without refueling. Moreover, it is equipped with the Catabar, Catapult Assisted Takeoff Barrier Arrested Recovery System, that allows it to operate a diverse air wing, including the Rafale Multi-Role Fighter and the E2C Hawkeye AEW aircraft. Additionally, the Charles de Gaulle's nuclear power allows it to steam at high speed, vital for generating wind over the deck for aircraft operations. 
It's Europe's only nuclear-powered flattop and a symbol of French blue water capability. Now, let's journey back across the Atlantic to discuss the USS Gerald R. Ford, a marvel of modern naval engineering and the lead ship of her class. With a whopping 100 ton displacement and a length of 1,106 feet, 337.3 meters, the Ford is the largest and most advanced aircraft carrier in the world. What makes her unique, you ask? Well, the Ford introduces a host of new technologies, such as the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMAILS, which uses magnetic fields to launch aircraft, a technological leap from the steam catapults of old. Moreover, the advanced arresting gear, AAG system, offers more efficient and reliable recovery of aircraft. Plus, the new nuclear reactors on the Ford class provide more power, yet require fewer crew members to operate, improving efficiency and capacity for future technologies. The USS Gerald R. Ford isn't just an aircraft carrier, it's a glimpse into the future of naval aviation. As we shift our focus towards Asia, we find China's first aircraft carrier, the Liaoning. Now, what's interesting about the Liaoning is that it was originally a Soviet vessel called the Varyag, left unfinished due to the collapse of the Soviet Union. China acquired the vessel in 1998 under the guise of turning it into a floating casino. However, the ship underwent extensive renovations and was commissioned as an aircraft carrier in 2012. With a displacement of around 60,000 tons and a length of 999 feet, 304.5 meters, the Liaoning serves as the flagship of the rapidly growing Chinese Navy. Equipped with a ski jump style deck for aircraft takeoff, it can accommodate J-15 fighter jets and a variety of helicopters. Although not as technologically advanced as some other carriers on this list, the Liaoning is a symbol of China's naval ambitions and their remarkable journey from a coastal defense force to a budding blue water navy. Next, let's explore the HMS Queen Elizabeth, the largest warship ever built for the Royal Navy. Boasting a displacement of 65,000 tons and a length of 932 feet, 284 meters, this mammoth vessel represents the United Kingdom's return to the rank of nations operating large aircraft carriers, what sets the HMS Queen Elizabeth apart. Firstly, it uses a unique twin island design, separating the ship's running from the flying control, providing increased operational efficiency. Additionally, it employs a ski jump takeoff ramp, similar to the Liaoning, to operate the advanced F-35B Lightning II Joint Strike Fighters. With a highly automated design that requires a crew of only around 700 sailors, nearly half the crew needed on a Nimitz-class carrier, the HMS Queen Elizabeth exemplifies a new era of British naval power and the potency of the Royal Navy on the high seas. And how can we forget the USS Nimitz, the lead ship of her class and a vessel that has long been the benchmark for aircraft carriers worldwide? Launched in 1972, the Nimitz with its sister ships embodies the might of the US Navy. An imposing sight, the Nimitz stretches over 1,092 feet, 332.8 meters, boasting a whopping displacement of over 100,000 tons. It's equipped with a nuclear power plant, allowing it to operate for over 20 years without refueling. It's an absolute marvel of engineering that carries a formidable air wing of about 90 aircraft, including the advanced FA-18 Super Hornet multi-role fighters. With four steam catapults, it can launch aircraft at an impressive pace, maintaining a high operational tempo. Its cutting-edge Aegis combat system and robust anti-aircraft defenses render it a virtually impregnable floating fortress. But what does the future hold? Imagine a carrier roaming the high seas, launching and recovering aircraft, all while not a single human steps foot aboard. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, not exactly. The idea of unmanned carriers is becoming a serious consideration in naval circles. While the technology is still under development, it's likely that future carriers could be smaller, cheaper, and thanks to advancements in drone technology, able to operate with fewer risks to human life. Imagine swarms of unmanned combat air vehicles, UKAVs, executing coordinated strikes, surveillance and reconnaissance missions. It's a transformation that could redefine naval warfare as we know it. As automation and AI continue to evolve, the concept of the ghost fleet, once a thing of fiction, edges ever closer to reality. And there you have it. 
The 10 most advanced and largest aircraft carriers that have charted our seas, each unique in its own right, each contributing to the evolution of naval architecture and warfare. These magnificent vessels reflect human ingenuity, our ceaseless quest for advancement and the shifting tides of global power. As we anticipate the advent of the unmanned carriers of the future, it becomes clear that the only constant in this tale of ocean-going giants is change. And as always, thanks for watching.